Jenny Waters with Trackside Model Railroading. We're here with Russ Segner at his Coal Creek Lumber Company. It's an SN3 layout. Um, and this is actually the entry behind us, Russ. We noticed this, yes. this is a really creative way to keep from having a duck under. Um, I'm guessing that was your goal here? Yes, no duck unders. And this comes up from the family room down below and so the traffic doesn't go through the main house mm. to come up to the, to the layout. Okay. So I designed it such a way that uh, the first thing they see is a reasonably large model of the mine right here, or the, the bunkers. The mine is simulated off to the side, so I don't have any waste piles. Okay. Uh, and then this is connects down to bunkers, which is a midpoint on the layout, and where cars are assembled of loads to t be taken down to the main city. Okay. So Russ has both mining and logging on the layout, and we're gonna kind of check out some of it here. The layout begins at a staging area called Morton. Originally, this was just a blank sheet of plywood with track on it. And then I decided to go ahead and scenic it as an actual destination with the little town site, the engine facilities, and uh, the yard tracks. I can actually switch several industries here. One of the features I decided to install is the sector plate, which pivots at one end and lets me take a locomotive off of the train as it comes in and it releases and then backs around to the turntable where it can be turned and headed back out. So it's a pretty fast turnaround for an operation. The only thing you need to do would be to reattach the caboose at the other end. It works very well. The uh, turntable is actually a uh, a uh, lazy susan metal piece that's clever and it just it's hand operated of course and uh, i just covered it like a lot of them were covered to avoid snowfall in the in the pit and it automatically re, uh, adjusts the polarity of the track as it it's a split system okay very simple uh, a great deal of the, the theory of the layout is modified, uh, modeled after the, uh, the west side. So most of the locomotives have a west side origin. And my theory is they were just purchased by the logging company when west side shut down. Okay. I modeled in the 30s. And so uh, there was a lot of movement of rail equipment back and forth between companies during those years. Okay. Okay, so we're in Coal Creek here. Yes, trains come into town from Morton through the tunnel into the main yard. Coal Creek is the main town on my layout. It has engine servicing facilities here. And so the locomotives from outside, which are Rio Grande locomotives, they're rod locomotives, come in and are removed from the train brought here to the turntable and shops and are serviced, turned and are ready to go back out. Okay. All of the equipment that operates from here on up to the end of the line are uh, geared locomotives. Okay. So um, the turntable is uh, uh, fully uh, motorized. It's done by Max McGinnis for me. And uh, oh, the little town, the little town site of all those structures, with the exception of one, came from Paul Skull's layout. Okay. And then this last building I brought is this little guy right here, and this is from Mike Schwab, okay. an SN3 guy down in Southern California. Now, is the layout 100% narrow gauge? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then moving on up through the town, I've got a. Uh, of course, the depot here, um, a uh, 
loading dock here for basically a uh, town, other businesses to use. Um, one of the interest, industries in town is Woodrell Wool, um, which uh, takes the wool from the sheep up above and processes it and it ships out uh, to Morton. This is Hanley Machine Works. They uh, work on tractors and other equipment to rebuild them and maintain them. And then we have um, Chambers Industries here, which is a business focusing on the building and maintaining of heavy logging equipment. There's an overhead crane inside and other work areas. And um, so I've got the yard for uh, loading large equipment onto flat cars, loading dock, and then the two uh, loading doors at the, uh, the building itself. So Russ, are, are most of your structures kits or are they scratch built? Or? They're a combination of both. This is uh, uh, a scratch built by Dave Woodrell. Oh, okay. This is a kit uh, that I modified a little bit. And then that's a Rocky Mountain Model Works kit that I've heavily modified, pull a, a full interior in it and reversed some of the walls. Okay. One of the things I did was um, um, scan the walls on a flatbed scanner after they were colored and then reversed it in Photoshop so that th the image could be reversed on the inside and uh, so I was able to glue the images on the inside and the window and door patterns matched. So if you look inside, you're not going to see white plaster. Right. You're going to see rock wall. Nice.